everybody, I'm Teacher Tasha and this is The Little Gym at Home. Later on, you're also going to meet my friend Teacher Pippa, so make sure you give her a wave when you see her on camera. Look where we are today. We have gone camping in the Big Stick Forest. And as you can see, I have made myself a super fun fort and I really want you to make yourselves one too. So I'm going to wait here and you can go and build yourselves one. As you can see, I've used a parachute, but you guys can use anything at home. You can use a sofa, some pillows, or even a blanket. And while you're there, make sure you grab yourself a wooden spoon or a walking stick, because we are gonna need these sticks for our adventures today. See you in a bit. So now that we have our sticks and you've built your fort, we're going to listen to the forest ranger and we're going to do our warm up all together. Are you in your fort with your big walking stick? Good. Now come on out of your fort and let's go for a nice easy run with our stick so we can get through the big stick forest. We got to get through the big stick forest. Now to make it through Big Stick Forest, we all have to learn the Big Stick Trick. It's easy. Let's do it together now. First, twirl your stick with your hands one time around. Now tap the end of your stick on the floor two times. And finally, hold your stick high above your head with both hands and shout, I can do anything! Great! Let's do it again a little faster. Here we go. Twirl it once. Tap it twice. Everyone hold it high and shout. One more time. Twirl it once. Tap it twice. Everyone hold it high and shout. Great! Now I have a little secret to tell you but let's do it back in the fort. Everyone go back in your fort. Are you back in your fort? Good. Now listen, when you hear the music, take your big stick out of your fort and place it on the floor. Then jump over your stick side to side or forward and backward. How many different ways can you jump over your big stick? Go. We gotta get through the big stick forest. Do the big stick trick! Twirl it once, tap it twice, everyone hold it high and shout! Look, we've come to Big Stick Pond, which is right in the middle of Big Stick Forest. Can you use your big stick to paddle your way through the water? Give it a try! If we work together, I know we can find the birthday ones in the nick of time. Then we all can fly together so very high to Big Birthday Mountain. Yeah! Freeze! We made it across the pond. Time for a big stick trick! Twirl it once. Tap it twice. Everyone hold it high and shout. These big stick tricks seem to be getting faster and faster. Maybe that's why it's called a trick. Now please sit down and put your big stick under your knees and watch your teacher try the big stick run around. They will stand their stick up on the ground while holding just the top of the stick with one finger. 
Then, when I say go, they will let go of their stick and try to run one time around their stick before it falls to the ground. But try not to let the stick touch you when it falls. Ready, teacher? On your mark, get set, go! Give your teacher a hand! Now it's your turn, explorers. When you hear the music, you try it. Then pick up your stick and do it again and again. Go! Now pick up your stick and gallop. Now gallop back to your fort and go inside. That's right. Sit down inside your fort and listen. It's time for the big stick balancing challenge and you can do it right there inside your fort. But if you can't see the screen, come out and do it out in the room. Here we go. Balance your stick on your hand. Can you balance your stick on your knee? Can you lie down on your back and balance your stick on your belly button? That's crazy! How many different ways can you balance your stick on your head? Great balancing! Now everyone, please come out of your fort with your stick. I've got a great idea. Hold your stick in the middle with one hand. Now hold it above your head and twist it back and forth and fly like a helicopter through Big Stick Forest. We gotta get through the Big Stick Forest. Through the Big Stick Forest. We did it! We got through Big Stick Forest. Now everyone, please go back inside your fort, then listen to your teacher to find out what's next. Hello everybody! My name is Teacher Pippa and you will never guess what I found in the Big Stick Forest. I found a little donkey. Oh, I thought it would be really nice if we played with him today. Do you remember what noise a donkey makes? That's right everybody, it's a big ee-ah! I can hear you from here you guys are doing it so loud! I've still got my walking stick and I'm going to see if I can do a big donkey kick. Can I show you how? Here's my stick, he's going all the way onto the ground. I start with my arms up really high in the sky and are you ready for my donkey kick? Three. Two, one. Eee -oh. <gasps> Did you see I landed on my feet? I think you guys can do it with me. Shall we do three big donkey kicks all together? Are you ready? Here's number one. Start with your arms up high. Eee -oh. <gasps> well done, everybody. Number two. Eee -oh. Are you ready for the last one? Number three. <gasps> eee -oh. Ta-da! Did you see my lovely donkey kicks? Now, if that is super easy for some of you, I can do a great big handstand. Should I show you how to start? It's something called a lunge. I want you to pretend that my little donkey has done a big poo on the floor here. Oh dear. My foot's gonna get stuck. Can you see? I've got one foot in front and one foot behind. This with my arms up in the air, is called a lunge. Ta-da! Can you see? When you start in your lunge and you do your big donkey kick, it can turn into a handstand. Can I show you one? Three, two, one. 
and I even landed in my lunge again. Why don't you guys try? Let's do one more all together and I'll show you in slow motion. We start in a lunge with our arms above our head, keep them really, really straight. I'll kick up to my handstand, make sure those toes are pointy if they kiss at the top, and then I land back in my lunge again. Ta-da! I have just walked down deep into the forest and I have stumbled upon a forest jumping competition. Shall we see if we can have a go? I want you to pretend to be a big bouncy frog with super strong legs. Do you know what sound a frog makes? Ribbit, ribbit. Yes, that's it. So we are going to pretend to have super bouncy legs and we're going to see if we can bounce all the way up to the sky. Shall we try? Ready and jump. Well done. Shall we try again and see if we can go even higher this time? Ready and jump. Well done. Now we're gonna see if we can jump all the way over our stick with our big bouncy frog legs. So you're gonna start on the ground. We're gonna count to three and you're gonna see if you can jump all the way over. Are you ready? One, two, three and jump. The second event of the jumping competition is a bunny jump. So now we're gonna see if we can be big bouncy bunnies. You're gonna start at one end of your living room and you're gonna bend down and we're gonna jump onto our hands first and then onto our feet. So make sure you give your bunny tail a little wiggle and get ready and we're gonna jump hands and feet, hands and feet. How did you do? Did you jump all the way down? Well done. We're gonna see if we can go a little bit faster this time. So make sure you keep your hands nice and strong. Give your bunny tail a little wiggle and we're gonna jump hands and feet, hands and feet. This time I have a big challenge for you. We're gonna do one super long bunny jump. So you're gonna see if you can stretch your arms all the way over to the other side. Are you ready? Give your bunny tail a little wiggle and we're gonna do one super big jump. Well done, I knew that we'd win the bunny competition. Whoa! It is so slippery and muddy in the big stick forest. I might even fall over. But you know what? It's okay, because I remember what the little gym taught me. If I fall over, I can do a back safety roll. Now, when you're in the gym, this is a great thing to remember for when you're jumping off the end of the beam. Can I show you how to do one first? I just need to remember to land on my bottom. I'm still holding onto my walking stick, so I can hold it up in the sky. And I'm going to fall onto my bottom. Are you ready? Three, two, one, bottom, whoosh, whoa, <gasps> and it, I can even land back on my feet again, did you see? Shall we try one all together? I'll do it slower for you, are you ready? Stand with your arms up in the sky first, three, two, one, bottom, whoosh, and ta-da! Well done everybody, we did it all together. I'm going to carry on my adventure now. Be careful. I just remembered something. If that is super duper easy for you, I've got another challenge. I can remember my backwards roll hands that I learnt when I was here in the gym. Can I show you them just to remind you? My hands are behind my shoulders and my elbows are squeezed into my ears. And I can do something called a turtle timer. This will help you guys with your backwards rolls. Can I show you one first? Arms up high to start. Three, two, one. And squeeze your knees in tight. Whoa. Ta-da! Like a little tiny turtle. If that's easy as well, you can finish it with a great big jump. Let me show you one of those. Ta-da! Did you see? Did you like my jump? 
Why don't you try for yourself? I'm going to get on with my adventure. Thank you so much for joining me and Teacher Pippa on our big adventure through the Big Stick Forest today. We've worked all of our muscles, we've done lots of skills, and we even worked our brains. Now please join me for a really relaxing cool down. I'm Teacher Tasha and this has been The Little Gym at Home. Did you know that a flower first starts out as a tiny seed? Please listen and act out the story of how the seed grew into a flower. Let's all begin by being a tiny seed. Lie down on the floor and curl up into a little ball and listen. There once was a seed so quiet and still, under the ground at the top of the hill. Then the seed began to open up. Some roots grew down and a stem grew up. The stem poked up above the ground, still rather small, and it didn't make a sound. Then the stem grew taller and straighter too, and it moved and swayed as the warm wind blew. Then a bud began to grow at the top like a tight little ball about ready to pop. When the flower inside ran out of room, the bud burst open and the flower did bloom. The petals of the flower opened up wide and it swayed in the sun from side to side. Now let's try something totally absurd. Let's make our flower grow backward. Let's act out what it would look like if a flower grew backward from a flower back down into a tiny seed. You ready? Here we go. After swaying side to side in the nice warm sun, the flower closed up inside its bud. The bud disappeared, leaving just a stem that began to shrink down as the day grew dim. Now just a tiny stem poked up above the ground, so small and quiet no wind, no sound. As the stem shrunk down and the roots curled up, the tiny little seed just closed right up. Under the ground at the top of the hill, there was a seed so quiet and still. It's time to say goodbye.